So how this will go is I'm going to just talk a little bit about Studio X. I'm going to show you a reel. Then I'm going to talk in detail about each of the different classes that we offer and what is uh, required and like what we do. And then we'll talk about prerequisites. And then we'll open up for questions. Um, so don't, you know, if you have questions about prerequisites, we'll get that to at the very end and kind of talk to you about how to get into the classes and, and what you need to prepare for. Um, and then after that at 1.30, we are going to drop in another link and we are going to step into a live Studio X class. This is gonna be our VFX compositing class with Catherine Tate. It's a live class. They are gonna be working. They're gonna be uh, showing dailies and looking at shots and giving feedback. And, and basically the exact same thing you would see in a studio day in, day out is looking at the work, commenting on the work, um, updating the work and making it better until we get to final. Um, so I know that not a lot of you are visual effects people, um, you might be interested in um, sitting in in one of the other classes and and with that, then we'll give you my email and um, we can set up another time for you guys to step in um, for those other classes. For today, just for um, ease sake, we are just going to do the one class. Okay, um, so Studio X, what the heck is Studio X? Well, Studio X is our premier program in a Academy of Art University, where we're bridging the gap between your ac education, your academic studies, and the industry, so that we can train you to collaborate in a studio setting. Everything that you are going to be doing and learning in the animation and visual effects industry requires that not only are you good at your specific track, be that animation or modeling or compositing or texture and lighting or producing, but that you guys are understanding of what the pipeline is, meaning what are all the steps to make a film from beginning to end, and then wherever your place is, who's in front of and back of you, so that you come together as a team to deliver the film. Um, last night, I was so fortunate to be able to go see an early screening of Dune. And what you'll find in any of these VFX films that you go see is that the amount of people involved to get that film finished and all the visual effects artists, all the animators, all of the modelers and riggers and texture and lighting people and the producers, they have to have teamwork, leadership, collaborative skills, and know how to work with each other to get the director's vision out. And so that is a critical piece that we're doing in our school, in our program to teach you guys how to do that together in a really safe, closed environment that you guys are actually working on real films, real projects with real deadlines, but also you're learning how to operate in a studio setting and what it will be like when you go out into the industry. Um, so with that, what I'd like to do, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about that and kind of why, um, you know, how the classes run. But first, I would um, like you guys to see some of the work that we have done recently.
So all of the shots um, and the work that you just saw in that demo reel were all developed and produced in our Studio X classes. Um, and some of them were for short films, some of them were for music videos, and some were actually for feature films. Um, so the classes that we offer in Studio X, there is a different class for each track um, because what we want to emulate for you guys is just like you would be in a studio, we have certain departments and each of the departments are under the one studio roof and we're all working together, um, but we have our, our specific skill set. And so that's how we run the Studio X program, that for each of the departments, we have a specific class, and we're all working together in that class on the things that we need to do. But we are also working with the other classes to get other elements all the way through. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So um, the, the main big class that we do where we're working on a lot of the feature films is in the VFX compositing class with Catherine Tate. Um, we run this class both, um, most of these classes we run spring and fall. Um, and there are usually, there's two classes in the day. We usually do a nine to 12 and then we do a 1.30 to 4.30. And then we run one summer class that meets twice a week um, in, at the same time. Um, and then, of course, we have 3D animation um, with Michael Parks. So all of the um, instructors are the leads of the department. Um, and they're also, you know, of course, you know, industry leaders and have, you know, decades of experience under their belt. Um, we have 3D texture and lighting with Derek Flood, and that's only offered in the spring and the fall. We have 3D visual effects with Jason Patnode, which is spring and fall and summer. We have story development with John Carlos. So this is um, for developing characters, doing a lot of concept art, visual development, and storyboarding. We have the 2D short film with Daisy Church. We have stop motion with Aaron Guadamuz. And then of course there's production management with me. So those are all the classes that we offer. Let me go into each class so I can tell you what each class is, what we're doing, and then just so that you kind of can see where, where would you fit in and what, what are you most interested in. So for VFX compositing, um, again, this is where we work on a lot of the high-end Studio X visual effects films with independent filmmakers mostly um, and short films. So like, for example, we just had a short film that um, we did last year called Rosa that just finished up their festival run and it was broadcast on HBO Max um, on Friday. So again, like our students get to work on these films, they have a, the, they have a credit, um, it's going on um, HBO Max. And so they're already working on films that are in the industry per se. So who should enroll in this? Well, we're looking for uh, new uh, composite artists that can do roto, can do match move, um, and then actually do all the compositing and tracking. And then of course, matte painters. Um, so, you know, developing the background um, matte paintings so that, you know, if we're putting a scene together, um, we actually have that background in there. So that's VFX compositing with Catherine. And she's also the director of the department as well. So you kind of get like, so many um, bonuses with that. And if you guys look her up on IMDB, you'll see like she has, you know, worked on 50 films and many films you will be very familiar with. Um, so the feature films that we actually have just finished in the last um, 18 months are three features. One was called The 24th uh, with Trey Bears from Empire. And he also was a producer and he helped write it. Um, the film called I'm No Longer Here, this actually won the best picture at the Mexico um, awards, which are called the aerials. So like how the Oscars are here, they're called the aerials there. And so it won best picture. We were actually nominated for, for best visual effects. Um, and then Strawberry Mansion was this really fun, weird, wild art film, uh, feature film that uh, uh, premiered at Sundance this year. Um, and we really, really enjoyed working on that film. And then the current films that we're working on, uh, we have a feature film called American Murderer that we just are delivering. Um, so this has uh, Tom Pelfrey from Ozark, um, Adina Menzel from, she's, you know, Broadway, Frozen, 
uh, Ryan Philippe, if you're a 90s kid, you'll remember him from way back and then Jackie Weaver. Um, and so this is really exciting because we're actually, the director is an up and coming director. He's from AFI um, and this is his first, first feature film, um, but they were actually able to secure some, some talent. Um, Rat King is uh, a short film. We're working with Nick Walker. He is a longtime ILM uh, artist and um, pretty high up in the, in the ranks there. Um, and so we're working on one of his personal films, which is great because it gets you guys, um, uh, you know, transparency into working with ILM, you know, people from the big studios. And then we're working on another really beautiful short film with a, um, a, another in, a university called Chapman University. They have a film program and um, we've been working with one of their up and coming directors on her short film with these beautiful butterfly dynamics and you'll see why it was something we really wanted to be involved in and then of course now with um covid kind of getting under control a lot of films that have been stalled for the last um 18 months are starting to get um back on track so we're going to have a lot more films coming in in spring and summer and fall um that are really really exciting a lot more features which we're really thrilled about um we have uh the next really awesome class that I love. This is our 2D short film production class with Daisy. Um, and so what she does is a little different where she's looking for people that um, from a, a lot of cross disciplines and she basically puts everyone together um, in teams of four or five. Um, and then you guys as a group are creating a short film um, every three weeks or so. Um, which is great because then by the time you guys are done, each student walks away with about four completed films that you have for your portfolios and your demo reels. Um, and so that's just really fun if you just want to, if you're a 2D animator or a storyboard artist, biz dev or sound of music or even for production management, it's a great place to just like learn the skills, work together as a, as a team, get a film done and then move on to the next. So I love that class. Um, then, of course, we have 3D animation with Michael Park. Um, so in this class, you're going to animate on all the current uh, Studio X films. And we also are working with the games department. Um, so we also are doing a lot of game animation, in-game animation and cinematic type animation. Um, so, you know, we're looking for 3D animators. Of course, if you're into layout, meaning um, you like to set up the shots and do camera work. Um, previs artists, and of course, any game animators. Um, so this class is, is really amazing. We have so many different types of projects going in and out of that right now. And then of course, um, production management with me. Um, so these are folks that are production assistants, producers, directors, or collaborative project showrunners. If people have like thesis um, students that have their own production um, that they just want to um, really like work the whole film from beginning to end. Um, and so we're the ones that are managing um, all of the timeline and the, the your artists and um, the projects and working with the clients. Um, so it's really, um, we're really kind of the show runners and the like the, the uh, uh, you know, air traffic control of just like guiding everybody where we need to be um, so that's really fun. Um, and then we have 3D VFX with Jason. This class is all about um, creating assets for not only for um, doing visual effects compositing, but also we do do some kind of, we do some things that are a little different than for texture and lighting that are a little different than like the Pixar style of texture and lighting animation. So this class is, is really where all of our asset developers go. So like our modelers, our riggers, our dynamic artists, um, texture and lighting for more photo reel, as you can see um, with this uh, cat above, um, 3D environment artists, and then just our generalists, like our, our tech people that, um, you know, like to kind of be involved in the entire pipeline. Um, so this is a really fun class um, too, because you guys are making assets and then we're compositing them in Catherine's class. Um, and then you get to kind of see the whole thing come together. And then of course uh, we have texture and lighting with Derek Flood. 
Um, this is really more of our premier 3D animation um, look dev class. So he's really working on what you're seeing here is um, that really high end kind of Pixar 3D look and lighting. Um, so, and then his films that he's been coming out of that studio, you know, we, we did Soar and Alice won the Student Academy Award. This film, um, Wishing Box has taken awards left and right and you can watch it on Amazon now. And um, then the other one is called Redemption and they're still in their festival and they're just taking awards left and right. So this is really, if you're looking to do texture and lighting on like the Disney Pixar DreamWorks style um, type of projects. <clears throat> and then of course we have story development with John Corellis. Um, so these, uh, this class is really in that beginning stage before we start production. So we're looking for people that are like storyboard artists, character designers, any kind of viz dev artists, um, you know, doing concept art, prop and set designers. And then of course, uh, the producers and writers. Um, so many of my producers are creative producers. And so they're in that class as well, developing their pitch for some of their original content. Um, and so this is, uh, we also at the end of, or in the, in the, towards the end of each semester, um, we have the students uh, pitch to us as Studio X faculty to see if it's something that um, we want to actually put through the Studio X pipeline that we, we want to produce um, within our, within our studio system here. Um, and then uh, we are putting back on stop motion animation with Aaron um, next semester. He's got a wonderful like array of new projects to be working on. So we're looking for people that are 3D modelers. Also anybody that's looking to do 3D printing like rapid prototyping, puppet fabricators, set builders, and of course lighting and camera. Um, and animators, of course, that should be on there too. Um, and then let me just pause there for a second, because that was a lot. So um, we're going to start talking about the prereqs. Um, before I move forward, um, Becky, was there any questions about the classes um, that we want to address yeah. before I jump into prereqs? Is it possible to take two Studio X classes? Yes. The Studio X classes, you can take multiple times, um, and you can actually even take two in one semester. Um, so our exa for example, if you, um, like I have a, a student that is doing dynamics for her thesis, but she's also doing texture and lighting. So she's in Derek's class doing texture and lighting and she's in Jason's class doing dynamics. Um, and so you can take them multiple times and you can take them um, in the same semester. You just need to make sure we have the prerequisites, which we're gonna go to next. Um, I did see somebody put on, are they available online or on site? So all of the classes for Studio X are all going to be a virtual hybrid. So right now um, we're doing them all virtually because that's, we've actually been doing them virtually even before um, the COVID pandemic. Um, so even if we go back to on site, we always, always have the virtual um, component of it. So it's not necessarily online because um, you do need to be in the class because it's part of being in the team. Um, so you will be able to zoom in, like just you'll see it exactly how it's going to run today um, in the sample. Um, but yes, if you are an online student, you don't need to be here on site, but you do need to be in class at the time. Okay. What was the, was there another question? How about um, visual development? Is that going to be available in Studio X? So visual development, you take the story development class with John. That's where all the visual development people go. We kind of have it all culminating into there. So viz dev, character design, storyboard, um, and any kind of writer, producer type should go into his class. And then um, somebody asked um, for, in terms of work and responsibilities, what's the difference between live action production and animation production? Um, for production management or production production? I, um, I'm not sure. 
Um, well, I'll, I'll give a two prong answer because it's, I mean, one is live action production is you're working with live people, you're on set, it's happening, um, you know, not, and they have a different pipeline. Um, obviously for animation and visual effects, um, you know, it's not so much like being on set and shooting. Um, we're literally working on shots uh, day by day, week by week. Um, and we have a, you know, a completely different pipeline um, in terms of the way that we operate. Um, it for visual effects, um, visual effects production works with uh, live action production um, so that when we're actually shooting visual effects shots on set, um, we're in communication and we're collaborating, um, but we we have two separate kind of um, paths. So it's, it's similar, but different. I come from a live action background actually, and I did animate, I, I came into animation and visual effects kind of late in my career. Um, but you know, it, you still kind of have the basics, but it's just a completely different pipeline. Great. I had a question here. Someone, someone asked yeah. if they're in game design, can they take a Studio X class? Yeah, if you're, well, actually, if you're in game design, so you do have a, you do have collaborative classes in the game department uh, that I, that I do know of. Um, but if you're interested in designing a game and a story and like doing it a bigger kind of thing, then you could go into John's class because he also was a game designer for a long time. Um, but if it is a game that you want to design, I would definitely um, contact um, Rez and David Goodwine in the game department to make sure that you know what their collaborative class is. But we work with them a lot. We do a lot of animation for them. <laughs> um, I see it. Someone wrote about the pre-college. Um, so the Studio X, you have to have a you definitely need to have a lot of prerequisites. We'll get into that. So it is something that you need to have um, some pretty sophisticated skills before you can take Studio X. Okay, is any other questions? Mainly for grad level. No, these classes right now, um, you can take them as uh, as undergrad and grad. So we, oh, we, have, um, we have both. So actually that, that seems like a good segue into going into the prerequisites. Um, so Becky um, will put in a PDF of the prerequisites. So for John's Studio X story class, um, he has a undergrad and a grad um, section. Um, he's just looking that you have uh, storyboarding one under your belt and any visual development classes, um, and then a, do a portfolio review. Um, with Michael's animation class, um, you want to have your caps done, um, and then you want to have 3D character animation one complete, um, both for either undergrad or grad. Again, like you can take these classes as grad or MA as well. Like if you're an MA or an AA, you can take these as well. Um, and then with the uh, texture and lighting, you just want to have advanced texture and lighting. Um, the next one is um, Jason's class because there's multiple things, you don't, you just need one or more of the following. So either um, Houdini, 3D modeling two, particles one, hard surface modeling, dynamics two, or lighting for visual effects, um, or the pipeline for directors or intro to rigging. Um, so all of these things, um, you, if you're a rigger, you just need to have the intro to rigging. Um, if you are a modeler, you want to have at least um, 3D modeling for animation, um, and you want to have hard surface modeling or organic modeling. Um, the next is for Catherine. Um, you want to have at least you want to have Nuke One for compositing, node-based compositing. Um, at least a matte painting class or a match mover rotoscoping class. So you, again, like you really want to get your um, you got to get the basic skills to be um, to be in the class because we're going to assign you work right away. It's not we're not actually teaching you how to use the software and um, the tools. You already should have a basis of the tools so that we give you an assignment or or a um, an asset to work on and you know what to do. And then we help you through getting it to be production ready. 
Um, Daisy's class just have a traditional animation um, principles and pipeline. My class is the 206 class is the prerequisite for production management. And then for stop motion with Aaron, um, it's uh, maquette sculpting um, and stop motion one. So those are the those are the basic prerequisites. Anybody else have any questions? Let's. Um, I, I want to take questions for like the next few minutes, and then we can go into Catherine. Um, the prerequisite for production management is my uh, class, which is Anim two hundred six, which is producing one. And also, just if you guys, if you have, go up to the top. And um, Becky posted a PDF of the prerequisites that you guys can just download and just open up and then you can see all of the prerequisites for all of the classes. Thank you. Um, a good question. Um, mm -hmm. you know, what happens when you're struggling and having a hard time with an assignment? Uh, in a oh, that's actually a really good question. So the one thing that is what is really good about Studio X is that um, we never, because we're a team oriented class, um, if you are struggling, um, we have a protocol and a process to get you the support and the help that you need immediately. Um, so in the class itself, we have um, team leaders that are um, students that have kind of done their work throughout the class. And they're there to help you through the basics and get you, you know, up to speed and support you um, outside of class. And then um, because collaboration is really about making sure everybody has all the information they need to keep moving it forward. And then most of us as faculty, we have um, workshops that are outside of class that you can come in if you're stuck on your shot or your asset and you need some support from us to get through it. For me as production, I have office hours and my producers come and we, we actually do a lot of problem solving and kind of unsticking stuff to get it moving forward. So it's very team oriented. It's very um, collaborative oriented. Um, and so it just takes a lot of communication that if you're like, hey, I'm stuck, you're like, hey, I'm stuck. And we have, we use Discord a lot so that we can help you, get you help immediately. Um, and all of the students, what's amazing is that um, everybody is very tuned into that. So, um, you know, I see a student put on Discord like, hey, I'm having trouble with my comp and like someone's right there to help them. Um, so that's super, um, that's super fun. And, and that's what it's like in the studio. We're all just helping each other throughout the day to make sure that we're getting our work done and we're having fun. That's the whole point. Um, so the, I'm going to take Marcus's question because it's a really good question. So he's asking, um, what do the classes look like? Are they structured like normal online classes? They are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Catherine's class. What you'll see is that we actually run them. They're not like online classes where there's not like a reading and a discussion. This is collaborative. So you go into your Zoom session, you have your, um, your shots available or your work available. We have an online production management software. You guys will see it um, where you upload your versions and then everybody is there to take a look. We make comments. We figure out what's next. Um, we figure out what you need to do next. Just like if we were in dailies in a studio, that's how every single morning begins at a studio was we look at dailies, we make comments, and then people go and they, they keep working on their stuff until it gets final. And then our producers are taking notes, making sure you have everything that you need. We send it to the clients. Sometimes we have the clients come in and review with us as well. Um, so it's more of actually like feeling like you're in a studio. So you'll definitely see that when we're in Catherine's class. Um, this is, oh, so um, the, the, the films that we get for the compositing class, um, Catherine and I um, have a, we've, we really built a um, kind of word of mouth in the indie film world um, over the last 10 years. Um, and so a lot of 
people now are just coming to us that are indie filmmakers that they've heard about us or um, they've been referred uh, to us from other indie filmmakers. Um, and so usually they're um, first time directors or, you know, they're just kind of in the breakthrough and they're just, they have micro budgets. Um, and so they just need some visual effects. And um, so we get to work with them with real films. We get beautiful plates. Um, we have, you know, we, these films will go to the festivals and whatnot. Um, and then our students get to get to work on them um, uh, so that they get, they get that experience working with a client. Um, and so we don't work on just one film. We literally have like right now, um, we have probably about 15 films in production right now in all the different classes and then like for in the compositing class right now we have about six um so they're all kind of going okay um is there another any other questions becky that you think that were important i think we covered it i think we're ready okay to <laughs> okay great so um, what we're gonna do now is um, Becky is gonna drop in a new Zoom link. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out of here and then I'm gonna meet all of you guys in this other Zoom link and then just hold, I'm gonna keep you in the waiting room for while I'm just kind of getting everyone gathering in. And then I'm gonna um, admit you guys all in and you guys are gonna be able to observe Catherine and the visual effects class going through shots, talking about the work and just seeing like what dailies is like and getting an idea of what the class structure is. And it's it's pretty close to all of the other classes. It's just, you know, in animation, you're gonna be looking at animation shots rather than compositing shots. Um, and then you guys are more than welcome to stay for the entire class, which is until 4.30. Um, but also, if you need to go, you can just pop in and pop out. No big deal. Um, probably around two o'clock, um, we'll set up a breakout room in that um, that we'll put you guys in um, if you guys have any further questions. Okay. Awesome. All right. So um, they also put my email in there. So um, copy that if you have any additional questions for me, um, or if you're interested in seeing an animation class or texture and lighting. That's something I'll have to set up separately, but feel free to email me. Um, I will be happy to chat with you. Okay. All right, here we go.